Welcome back to 101 in downtown Corvallis. While it was senior weekend at Gill Coliseum and a great day for those four, we take a look now in depth at a freshman who's made a huge impact on the Oregon State basketball team a long way from home. Devon Collier from the Bronx making his way to Beaver Nation. Assistant Director of Communications, Melody Stockwell has Devon's story. Jennifer Lopez, Calvin Klein, Luther Vandross, and of course the New York Yankees are all examples of products of the Bronx in New York. For Beaver Nation, freshman Devon Collier can now be added to the list of notable names to come out of New York City's northernmost neighborhood. Growing up in the Bronx was tough because um, people, people rude. People, when people say people rude in New York, it'd be really, it's true, but people try to be nice, but if you get on their bad side or they have a bad day, they tend to mess with you a lot. It was pretty rough growing up in the Bronx. There was a lot of people, a lot of gangs. My family always wanted me to go on the right path. So as, as I was growing up, my father would put me in Catholic school because he wanted to be disciplined and stuff. And from there on, I've just been growing up and maturing faster because I've been in Catholic school instead of going to public school. The youngest of seven kids, he and his father knew that he could do much with his life as long as he stayed on the right path. Um, when I was younger, they always used to pick on me. They always used to make fun of me. We used to play ball. They always used to bully me. And I just took it in. My father was saying, um, don't worry. Um, he's going he's gonna to end up being better than y'all one day, one day watch. And they were like, oh, whatever. He's not going to be nothing. So I just kept on taking it in, becoming tougher and stuff. And as, as I've been growing up, I just began tougher in basketball and that just led to now. Devon began his high school career at All Hallows High School in the Bronx, transferring to St. Anthony's High School in Jersey City, New Jersey, to play for Hall of Fame coach Bob Hurley at the beginning of his junior season. The change prompted a longer commute and a deeper commitment. You have to be very dedicated because I have to wake up like at six in the morning every day to take the train. I would be sleeping on trains, but it was worth it though. That's why I kept doing it, it was worth it. And I know it would better me in life. Enter the recruiting process. As a top prospect, Devon had offers to stay close to home at nearby schools like St. John's and Seton Hall. But for the 6'7 forward, he took the opportunity that Oregon State offered him to develop not only as a player, but also as a person. A lot of schools would recruit me. I like the school itself, just, but there was just like a little, a little stuff that used to bother me. I just felt like it wouldn't fit me if I was to go there. And I came here and it was just like, I didn't want to leave, I wanted to stay. And I told my coach that, he was like, you for real? He said, um, you're going to be good being away from your parents? I was like, yeah, I'm always away from my parents. We always traveling. When I first met Devon, my impressions were that he would be too good for us to get. Uh, and what I mean by that is that we're way over here on the left coast, and he's from the right coast. And there are a whole lot of schools that were recruiting him uh, that he would have to pass up in order to come out here. Well, I could say one of my top moments is um, just coming to OSU, just meeting people. This is a very good environment for me. Um, get along with people, able to um, trust people, able to um, get to know people, get to know your personality. Well, when Devon first got here, uh, obviously we're very sensitive to the fact that he's coming from a long way away, but we, we didn't have to worry after he had been here for about a month. He really acclimated himself well. For most college freshmen, the transition to college and living on their own is hard enough. Add the expectations at the Pac-10 Division I basketball level, coupled with moving over 2,900 miles away from home, and welcome to Devon's new life, where change is inevitable, but basketball has been the constant. During my whole life, I had to go through a change from um, when I was young, I had to transfer schools. When I got to high school, I transferred schools, went from New York to New Jersey, and now I'm doing from New York to um, West Coast, Oregon State, or Dallas. So I felt like the changes I've been making have been good. So I hope the changes I keep making will be successful in my life. Yeah, I like change. Good changes, good changes. 